guys, it's Nicole Jones from the Physio Crew and I wanted to share with you a patient I've been seeing recently because he's just done so amazingly well and um, my special interest is shoulders so I love um, seeing how people um, progress and develop with shoulders. Really motivated guy as well, I mean he came in, I was pretty straight talking with him and said look, this is what you need to do. Um, he was originally seen in A&E um, and kind of six weeks down the line, still not getting better. So um, I said, right, come in for an assessment, we'll have a little look at you. So some of the things we look at in the assessment is we look at the range of movement, so how far they can go up in front, how far they can go up out to the side, um, external rotation, so elbow in, hand out, and internal rotation, which is just hand behind your back. And so um, his sort of um, markers when I first met him were not very promising, 110, um, just above 90 just um, into abduction, external rotation was very restricted and um, internal rotation was pretty restricted too. So he'd come off his bike um, and landed on a sort of an outstretched hand. So the first thing to say is it's really, really important, the mechanism, because that helps to tell us what's wrong with it. So if you fall in in a certain way, then certain structures are going to be more likely to be damaged and, um, and, and that's how we work out how we treat you. So um, for him, I worked out that it was going to be um, probably a rotator cuff injury because of the weakness and because of the range of movement and, um, and so looked at it, ruled out a few other things. So a restriction in range of movement can also be something like a frozen shoulder or it could be um, that he had some kind of um, irritation um, which was causing that tightness but wasn't due to the muscle being torn. So looked at that, worked it all out and said right okay this is what we need to be doing and, um, and initially I wasn't 100% sure that he didn't have a frozen shoulder because he had restriction in all ranges not just particular ranges. So I said to him right we're going to try a few sessions see how you get on and, um, and we'll go from there. So we did a little bit of acupuncture, we did um, a lot of um, joint mobilization, soft tissue release, so taking, um, for example, um, the pec muscle, so really lifting the pec muscle and coming into subscap underneath and looking at taking him through the ranges that were difficult, so we did external rotation, we did external rotation at 90, um, soft tissue release of subscap, we did end of range forward flexion, um, and again, just making sure that we were so doing soft tissue release in the muscles that are restricting, for the particular movement that we were doing and um, and the first couple of sessions were a little bit uncomfortable but he was able to cope with that and tolerate it and then over time now he's gone from having 110 degrees of forward flexion to now 180 degrees and that's within six sessions so I was really really happy um, yesterday I discharged him and said right okay you're fine now He's not 100%, he, um, if he wanted to be 100% we'd need to do a couple of extra sessions but I don't feel that he needs me for that. I feel he needs to go away and do those exercises and I've said to him if he struggles he can come back and see me but um, we'll support you at the physio crew if you need it but if you've got the determination and the grit then we'll send you away to do those exercises, keep persevering and, um, and get reach the, the, you know, your goal. So his goal is to have equal strength on the left and the right side and at the moment he's about 80% on the right so um, we need him to be a little bit stronger especially because he's dominant hand. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any shoulder problems then um, make sure you get a really clear diagnosis and follow your um, therapist guidelines to the T and, um, and then you, you know, optimizing your recovery. So I um, hope that's been helpful guys. Speak to you soon.